So I'm sure you guys remember the video I made a couple of days ago about this couple on TikTok who were putting all their business out here in these streets. Basically, this chick was putting her boyfriend on the spot time and time again, asking him about marriage and when he planned to drop down on one knee and pop the big question. Also noting that his finances were heavily tied up in her NASCAR career, literally admitting to giving up on his dream for her. Wait, and for those of you who don't know me, I race professionally in NASCAR. And we met racing, like short track racing locally, and he quit racing to come help me find sponsorships so I can pursue my dream. Like, that's better than a ring. But I still want the ring! Well now this couple has seemingly responded. First this random NASCAR fan tweeted, I'll be keeping Derek Lemecki in my thoughts after watching this. Hashtag run while you can. Hashtag NASCAR, and obviously with my video linked down below. And for those of y'all that are confused, Derek is the dude with the cold feet. He responded to this tweet saying, I won't be running. I love how serious everyone is getting about our relationship. At Natalie Racing and I are doing better than good. As for Jamari Speaks, I love her very much with full intentions to marry with a family. The video you should make is how all the singles care, which I really do not understand because what does being single have to do with anything? I really just gathered all those people there on that day to watch the car wreck, my guy. He even had a white knight come in to say, that video by Jamari Speaks took eight minutes and one second of my life that I will not get back. And look, Bill, I see why you're mad that I took your valuable time thirsting over e-girls on the internet. I mean, seriously, this dude's timeline was depressing to say the least. Our guy was truly out here talking to a brick wall. Derek, don't be trusting guys like this, okay? He's gotta be out there whacking into pictures of your girl. Either way, our guy Derek also took to TikTok once again on his girl's page to lay me to rest. Okay, so I have a problem with this comment because I'm sick of reading comments of people telling me that I'm happy or I'm not happy. Um, you don't know me. I'm happy. I love Natalie. We will be married. There's gonna be kids involved. Probably some more dogs. Y'all don't know me. You don't know if I'm happy or not. My face stays like this whether I'm happy, sad, mad, glad, anything. I was born like this. I have the same facial expression for every expression that I'm trying to show. I just don't care. Now let's pause it right there because I don't think anyone really had a problem with your lack of emotions, my guy. It was really just straight up your responses to her questions and the absolutely insufferable looks you had on your face. Do you have plans to, pr to propose to me? Yeah, one day hopefully. How is it gonna be a surprise if you keep asking me about it every day? Stop asking about it and it will happen. It Okay, I, I'll try my best to stop asking about it. I'm just really Don't excited for best. it to happen. Just stop asking about it. <laughs> just do better, Natalie. Do better. <laughs> Plus, the dogs are in my name, so I know she ain't going nowhere. But yes, continue to think that you're some type of Kawhi Leonard. At the end of the day, this is the way this couple chose to present themselves and their relationship online. I just thought it was funny. And I also thought some of the other things they know it about their relationship were very strange. He's my best friend. My only friend. I met the right one, I knew since day one, and I will propose to you. When you first saw me when I was 14 and you were 18, is that when you knew? I'm <laughs> just kidding, I'm just kidding. We didn't start dating until I was 18, okay? <laughs> also, my dude still looks like he's being held at gunpoint reading a script off of an iPad, but let's watch on. Just wanted to clear that up for anyone. Um, I know a lot of you are confused and very into our relationship right now, but I am happy, I love Natalie, and we will continue to be together for a while. Forever. How do I shut this thing off? <laughs> now, could we interpret this little bit at the end as a little innocent trolling? I love Natalie, and we will continue to be together for a while. Forever. Sure, but what would be the fun in that? After all, they do say in every joke there is a little bit of truth. And this man even admitted himself that he is her little sugar boy. The checks get signed to her name and then he spins them. Or like, I don't, I hate seeing my career. Cause like, even though I'm the one racing in NASCAR right now, it's like our career. You know what I mean? Like we're a team. Yeah. The checks get written out to Natalie Decker. But you still get to spend the money. I'm his sugar mama. I'm <laughs> just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. He finds the big money. NASCAR is expensive and he finds the big money, I'm but then we have to spend it right away. Figure. 
I like that. That should be your title in your Instagram bio. You might have to change it. You know, personally, I think it's a horrible idea to go into business with your girl. I'm not sharing one exclusive bank account. I'm not doing any of that because like I said, I really do feel like it's important to have a life outside of your relationship. And no, I'm not saying to live some sort of double life. I'm just saying you need other outlets besides that person. I mean, this guy even says in his Instagram bio that he is a NASCAR wife. But to each their own, I'm just saying when you put all your eggs in one basket, sometimes you end up with egg on your face. Regardless, I do wish these two the best, and I hope she gets that big fat ring that he will pay for with her paychecks. But y'all let me know what you guys think about this whole situation down below. If I sounded a little bit different in this video, it's because I did get COVID for the very first time. So I've kind of been dealing with that, but I've been feeling pretty good. So y'all don't worry about me. Regardless, I want to thank you guys for dropping a like on today's video, sharing it with a friend, and just watching in general. But as you guys know, there's some other TikTok couples out here that need to be talked about. So it's been your boy, the Tan Superman, and I'm out. Peace!